Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be taking a road trip across the United States and looking at for each of the 50 states, what is the shortest word that contains all of the letters within that state? So if you've always been looking for some fun trivia facts about your home state or just about the country in general, this is definitely the video for you. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to start at the top of the list alphabetically with the state of Alabama. Now, Alabama has a lot of A's. It's got four of them. So you might think at first that would make it pretty difficult, if not maybe impossible, to make a word using all of the letters in Alabama. However, that could not be further from the truth, as there are actually three nine-letter words. So adding only two letters to the seven letters in Alabama that can be made. And they're all really fun. They are Balmacan, Jambalaya, and Matambala. Now, jambalaya is probably the most well-known of these words. It's, of course, the Cajun dish I've pictured on the left. And a balmacan is a type of overcoat, and matambala is a plural of tambala, which is a monetary unit of Malawi. So some fun stuff there with Alabama. And now we're going to move on to Alaska, which is the next state alphabetically. Of course, quite a ways away from Alabama geographically. Uh, and it turns out uh, Alaska is actually a word. Uh, a baked Alaska, which I've pictured over here on the bottom left, is a dessert. So Alaska is a word that is the first, but certainly not the last state we're going to encounter that is an acceptable Scrabble word, but pretty cool stuff. Now, moving back to the lower 48, we move on to the state of Arizona. Now, Arizona has a Z in it, which is a little bit tricky to use, but it's got a bunch of other good letters, and it turns out there is a single nine-letter word using the letters in Arizona. So just like Alabama, adding two letters to the seven letters in the state, and uh, that nine-letter word is uh, pretty cool. It's Lazzaroni, which is the uh, type of amaretto liqueur pictured over here on the left. So uh, a pretty fun one for Arizona. Moving on now to Arkansas, another state with a lot of A's in it. It's got uh, three A's, but otherwise some pretty good tiles. Uh, the R, N, and S's are all really easy to use. Uh, the K could be a little bit clunky, but uh, it turns out that there is a ten-letter word. So once again, adding two tiles to the eight letters in Arkansas, this time to make a 10 letter word. And uh, that 10 letter word is astrakhans. Uh, and an astrakhan is a type of wool that is uh, specifically derived from the caracal sheep, which I've pictured over here on the bottom left. So another pretty fun uh, state anagram here arising from the letters in Arkansas. So now moving on from states that start with an A, we're gonna head back to the West Coast and visit the largest state in the country by population, California. Now, California's got a lot of letters compared to the states we've looked at so far. It's got 10 letters, but all the letters are fairly easy to use, and it turns out there is a 12-letter word, a single 12-letter word, using all the tiles in California. So once again, we're going to be adding two tiles to this word, uh, and it turns out, somewhat surprisingly, the tiles we're adding are a third A and a second C. So duplicating tiles already in the state's name, which is a little bit counterintuitive, but it turns out that adding a C and an A gives you craniofacial, which once again is the shortest word containing all the letters in California, the only 12-letter word, so pretty cool stuff. We're now going to stay out in the western part of the U.S., moving on to Colorado. Now, Colorado, it turns out, like Alaska, is actually a word, and uh, Colorado is an adjective describing a specific type of cigar, which I've pictured here. So if you ever get the opportunity to play Colorado in Scrabble, keep in mind that it is an adjective and does not take an S. So if your opponent tries to put an S on Colorado, make sure you challenge and they are going to lose a turn. We're now going to head all the way to the East Coast, visiting the state of Connecticut. Now, Connecticut is not a very large state in terms of area, but it does have a very large number of letters. It's got 11 letters, including a bunch of clunky consonants. We've got three C's, two N's, and two T's. And it turns out that there are unfortunately no words in the Scrabble Dictionary that use all the letters in Connecticut. And I do know this might be disappointing news if you're from Connecticut and were hoping to learn a cool word containing all the letters in your state. But the good news is Connecticut will certainly not be the last state we encounter today that doesn't make any words, so you are definitely not alone. We're now going to move just a little bit down the Interstate 95 corridor of the East Coast to the state of Delaware. Now, Delaware is a, another very small state by area that has a decent number of letters. It's got eight letters, uh, but it does turn out, unlike Connecticut, that there are numerous words using all the letters in Delaware. The shortest words add two letters, so they are ten letters long, and uh, there are two of them, and they are both quite fun. We've got Race Walked and Rewardable. So, uh, pretty fun ten-letter words there that can be made from the letters in Delaware. We're now going to head uh, even further down the eastern seaboard, once again staying on Interstate 95, this time a much longer trip, all the way down to the state of Florida. Now, uh, Florida has seven letters, and it turns out that there is a single eight-letter word that can be made using all the letters in Florida. So this is our first state today where a word can be made by adding only a single tile. Uh, and it's not the easiest word to see. It turns out that the tile you need to add to Florida is a B 
for the eight-letter word of forbiddle, which means the act of forbidding something. So a pretty fun eight-letter word that can be made from the letters in Florida. We are now once again going to stay on the East Coast, heading now back up Interstate 95 to the state of Georgia, which is directly north of Florida. And uh, Florida and Georgia both have seven letters, and it turns out they both have a single eight-letter word that can be made by adding one tile. Now, for Florida, we added a B for forbiddle. For Georgia, we are going to be adding a P to make the eight-letter word of arpeggio, which is a type of musical chord that you can see pictured on the left. We now are finally going to leave the East Coast uh, in a very big way, heading all the way over the West Coast into the Pacific Ocean and visiting the state of Hawaii. Now, Hawaii is a fairly short state in terms of length. It's only six letters, and you might think there would be some fairly short words, like maybe eight or nine letter words, containing the letters in Hawaii. However, that is not true. There are words containing the letters in Hawaii, but you need to add a lot of letters. And uh, the shortest words are 11 letters long. So that means you have to add five blanks to Hawaii before you even get to a word, which is pretty shocking. I was definitely surprised when I first looked this one up. But there are a number of fun 11 letter words. There are actually four of them, and they are anti-whaling, chainsawing, rainwashing, and washability. Uh, so I couldn't fit pictures for all four of these words, uh, of course, on the slide. I've uh, decided to add a picture of a chainsaw over here on the left for chainsawing. But uh, a bunch of fun 11 letter words that can be made from the six letters in the state of Hawaii. We're now going to come back to the mainland U.S., but stay in the western part of the country, visiting the state of Idaho. Now, Idaho is the shortest state we've been to so far. It's only five letters long. And it turns out there are two fun six-letter words that can be made from the letters in Idaho. And those two six-letter words are hairdo and haloid. Now, hairdo is, of course, a common word, and a haloid is a type of compound that is related to salt. We're now going to move to the Midwestern part of the country, visiting the state of Illinois. Now, Illinois has eight letters, and those eight letters are a bit difficult to work with because we have three I's as well as two L's. So a lot of duplication within the letters in Illinois. And it turns out there are a number of words using all these letters, but you need to add three additional tiles. There are no nine or ten letter words using all of the letters in Illinois. You need to go to 11 letter words, and there are quite a lot of 11 letter words, specifically six of them. Now, three of these words are related to illusion. We have disillusion, illusionism, and illusionist. In addition, we have the related set of pointillism and pointillist, and finally we have tonsillitis. So a bunch of fun 11s there that can be made from the word in Illinois. We're now going to move over to one of Illinois' neighbors, namely the state of Indiana. Indiana is seven letters long, and it turns out you need to add two letters to form an acceptable word. There are two nine-letter words that can be made from the letters in Indiana, and they are both a lot of fun. They are Andantini and Nidarian. Now, Nidarian looks especially bizarre because of this silent C at the beginning of the word, which is certainly not something you see very often. And uh, I actually, for a while, didn't realize this C was silent, but before I made this video, I wanted to look it up and make sure I was pronouncing this word correctly for you guys, and it is not Cnidarian, as I used to think, it is Nidarian. And a Nidarian turns out to be a type of jellyfish, which I have pictured over here on the left. Andantini is a plural of Andantino, which is a type of musical passage. So several fun nine-letter words there that can be made from the letters in Indiana. We're now going to stay in the Midwest, moving over to the state of Iowa. Now, Iowa is tied for the shortest state in the country at only four letters long. And it turns out there's a single five-letter word that can be made by adding one tile to the letters in Iowa. And that is one of the very many alternate spellings of the word meow, this one spelled M-I-A-O-W. Now, meow is, of course, the sound a cat makes, but it turns out there are four alternate spellings of meow that are acceptable. There's this one, there's M-I-A-O-U, there's the most common one of M-E-O-W, and finally there is M-E-O-U. So a lot of different ways that meow can be spelled, but this is the one that contains all the letters in the word Iowa. We're now going to stay in the Midwest, but move on from states starting with the letter I, visiting the state of Kansas. Now we've already been to Arkansas earlier in this video, which has all the letters in Kansas plus another A and an R, and we saw the shortest word with the letters in Arkansas was the 10-letter word of astrakhans. Now for Kansas, of course, you can still use astrakhans, but it is now not the shortest word that can be made. It turns out there are two seven-letter words, so adding only a single tile to Kansas, and those are dansax and sandjax. And a dansack is the type of dish I've pictured over here on the left, and a sandjack is a subdivision of the Ottoman Empire. So two pretty obscure but fun seven-letter words that can be made from the letters in Kansas. We're now going to head over to my home state of Kentucky. 
Now, uh, Kentucky has only eight letters, so not all that many letters compared to some of the other states we've seen, but it's got some difficult letters. It's got two Ks as well as a Y and a C. And it turns out that just like the state of Connecticut we were in earlier, Kentucky does not make any acceptable Scrabble words with all of the tiles involved. So a little bit disappointing for myself and my fellow Kentuckians, but so be it. We're now going to head a little bit further south to the state of Louisiana. Now, Louisiana has nine letters. It's got a bunch of vowels. It's got two A's, two I's, an O, and a U. And it turns out that there is a 11-letter word, so a single word that can be made by adding two letters to the word Louisiana. And it is a fun one. It involves adding two T's to make the word situational. So a fairly common word. Not the easiest one to come up with, though, with all of those vowels, but uh, a pretty fun puzzle nonetheless for all of you folks watching from Louisiana. We're now going to head all the way up the East Coast to the state of Maine. Now, Maine is a fairly short state, it's only five letters long, and it turns out there are several words that can be formed by anagramming the letters in Maine without adding any additional tiles. And those three words would be amine, anime, and mine. Now, anime is of course a common word. An amine is a type of compound related to ammonia, and mine is a plural of mina, which is an ancient unit of weight. So several fun five-letter words that are anagrams of Maine. We're now once again going to be staying on the eastern seaboard, this time heading south down the Interstate 95 corridor to the state of Maryland. Now, Maryland is eight letters long, and it turns out you need to add two letters to the letters in Maryland before you get a valid word. And there is a single 10-letter word that can be formed by adding two tiles to Maryland. You need to add another N as well as a U to form laundryman. So uh, a pretty fun 10-letter word there, which is once again the shortest word, the only 10-letter word containing all of the letters in Maryland. We're once again going to be staying on the Interstate 95 corridor, this time heading back north to the state of Massachusetts. Now, Massachusetts is a very long state. It's the longest one we've seen so far. It's 13 letters long. And the Scrabble Dictionary only contains words up to and including 15 letters, because 15 is the longest word you could possibly play on a Scrabble board. So with Massachusetts, you'd either need a 13-letter anagram of Massachusetts or a 14 or a 15 adding just one or two tiles. And as you can imagine, uh, with already four S's involved, as well as two T's, duplicate A's, an M, a C, and an H, it's going to be pretty difficult to do that. And unfortunately, as it turns out, there are no words using all of the letters in Massachusetts. So we add Massachusetts to a list that already includes Connecticut and Kentucky, and a list that is certainly going to keep growing as we go through the rest of this video. We're now going to head back to the Midwest, visiting the state of Michigan. Now, Michigan is eight letters long, and it turns out there is a single nine-letter word using all the letters in Michigan. So we can add only a single letter, and it turns out that would be a second N. Using advantage of the common ing suffix, we have the word machining, which can be formed from the letters in Michigan. We're going to stay in the upper Midwest, heading a couple states over to Minnesota. Now, it turns out that there are two valid anagrams for Minnesota, so two nine-letter words that can be formed by rearranging the nine letters in Minnesota. And those two words are antinomes and nominates. Now, nominates is, of course, a common word. Antinomes is basically a synonym for antonyms, so it means two things that are opposites of one another, such as hot and cold, as I've pictured over here on the bottom left. We're now going to head all the way south to the state of Mississippi. Now, Mississippi is 11 letters long, and it includes two sets of quadruples. We've got four I's as well as four S's, in addition to an M and two P's. So some pretty difficult tiles to work with there. And it's probably not a huge shocker that there are, unfortunately, no words in the Scrabble Dictionary that contain all of the letters in the state of Mississippi. So we add Mississippi to our growing list of states that do not form any acceptable Scrabble words. We're now going to head back up north a little bit to the state of Missouri. Now, Missouri is eight letters long, and it turns out that the shortest word containing all the letters in Missouri is ten letters long. And there are actually two of them that can be formed by adding two tiles. We have moisturize, spelled the British way with an I-S-E ending instead of I-Z-E, as well as the plural of the nine-letter word routinism, routinisms. So two fun ten-letter words that can be formed using all the letters in Missouri. We're now going to head up to the northwestern part of the country, visiting the state of Montana. Now, Montana is, of course, a very large state, but it's not particularly intimidating in terms of the letters contained within it. We've got seven tiles, all of which are pretty easy to use. We've got a couple of A's, a couple of N's, an M, an O, and a T. It does turn out there are no eight-letter words, however, that can be formed with the letters in Montana. You do need to add two letters, and then you get a bundle of words. You've got four nine-letter words that can be formed using all the letters in Montana. They're all actually fairly common. We've got damnation, emanation, animation, and anti-woman. So four common nine-letter words, but still a fun set of words that can be made using all the letters in Montana. We're now going to head a little bit east to the state of Nebraska. 
Another state that's got some fairly promising letters to work with, we've got a, a couple of A's, an N, E, R, and S, all of which are really good titles for forming long words. We do have a B and a K, though, which are a little bit clunky, and that's going to mean that there are no words that can be formed just like Montana by adding a single tile to the letters in Nebraska. You do need to add two tiles, but when you add two tiles, you get a bundle of words. You get three ten-letter words, cane breaks, hand breaks, and carabiners. Now, cane breaks are the type of reedy plants pictured over here on the left. Handbrake, of course, is a device used in a vehicle to stop it from rolling away. And uh, carabiner, I believe, is just an alternate spelling of carabiner with a C, which is a type of climbing equipment. So several fun 10 letter words that can be formed using all the letters in Nebraska. We're now going to head back out west to the state of Nevada. Now, Nevada is six letters long, and there are two seven letter words that can be formed by adding a single tile to the six letters in Nevada. And those two seven letter words are advance and veranda, both of which are fairly common. Uh, a veranda, for those unfamiliar, is a type of porch, which I've pictured over here on the left. We're now heading all the way back to the East Coast, visiting the state of New Hampshire. New Hampshire is going to be the first of several states in this video that is two words long. And there are 12 letters in New Hampshire, so quite a lot of letters. But it seems like there might be some words. We've got a bunch of good tiles. We've got an A, a couple of E's, I, N, R, S. But we do have several clunky consonants as well. We've got W, a pair of H's, an M, and a P. And it turns out those consonants are just clunky enough to prevent there being any words containing all the letters in New Hampshire. And New Hampshire gets added to our list of states that do not make up any acceptable Scrabble words. We're now going to be once again sticking to the Interstate 95 corridor, this time heading south to the state of New Jersey. Another state starting with New. And uh, once again, just like New Hampshire, we've got a bunch of good bingo tiles, tiles that are easy to use. We've got several E's, an N, an R, and an S, but we do have a bunch of clunky consonants as well. We've got a W, a J, and a Y. And just like New Hampshire, it turns out those consonants are going to spoil it, and there are going to be no words acceptable that contain all the letters in New Jersey. We're sticking with states that start with new, but heading back out west to the state of New Mexico. And once again, we've got a bunch of clunky consonants. We've got a W, an M, an X, and a C. And those consonants are going to be just clunky enough to stop New Mexico from being able to make up any words. So we have our third state in a row now. We have New Hampshire, New Jersey, and now New Mexico, for which there are no acceptable Scrabble words containing all of the letters in the state. We're now heading right back to the East Coast, visiting the state of New York, but staying with our pattern of a state with two words, the first of which is new. So will we also be staying with our pattern of states which make no acceptable Scrabble words? It turns out absolutely not. We're actually going to be doing the complete opposite. We're going to go from three states in a row that made no acceptable words to a state that has an anagram. Believe it or not, there is a seven-letter word that can be formed by simply rearranging the seven letters in New York. And that seven-letter word is wonkery, which is defined as excessive studiousness, as you can see pictured humorously over here on the left. So pretty cool stuff there for all of the New Yorkers watching this video. Definitely a fun one to ask your friends. We're now going to head back down the I-95 corridor, once again, a corridor that's appearing quite a lot throughout this video, south to the state of North Carolina. Another state that has two words and uh, quite a lot of letters. We've got 13 letters in North Carolina, so... Again, not much wiggle room if we want to fit in a word that has 15 letters or less that will be in the Scrabble dictionary. And it turns out that there are no acceptable words in the dictionary containing all the letters in North Carolina. We're now sticking with the Norths, but heading way further north than North Carolina up to the state of North Dakota. And it turns out that just like North Carolina, there are no words containing all the letters in North Dakota. So both of the Norths, Dakota and Carolina, do not make any acceptable Scrabble words. We'll have to see if it's the same for the South. Stay tuned to find out. We're now going to head back to the Midwest, visiting the state of Ohio, one of only two states in the country that are four letters long, the other of which is Iowa, which we talked about earlier. Now, there are no fives containing the four letters in Ohio. We need to add two letters to form a six-letter word, and there are quite a lot of six-letter words. There are six of them. There are duty, hoodie, hooli, ooing, uulith, and tholoi. My favorite one of these is tholoi, which is a Greek word. It's a plural of tholos, T-H-O-L-O-S, which is an ancient type of tomb. You can see the runes of one pictured over here in this photo. We're now going to head over to the state of Oklahoma. Now, Oklahoma is eight letters long. It's got some decent tiles. It's got a couple of O's, a couple of A's, an L, an M. The H and the K are a little bit clunky, but it shouldn't be too bad to work with. Uh, this state is actually, to me, the most surprising state we're going to encounter in this video that doesn't make any words. I was pretty surprised the first time I looked this up, figuring there's probably at least like a 13 or 14 or maybe a 15 containing all the letters in Oklahoma, but there is not. There is not a single word in the Scrabble Dictionary 
that contains all of the letters in the word Oklahoma. So a little bit surprising and uh, perhaps a little bit of a disappointment to all the folks watching here from Oklahoma. We're now heading back to the West Coast and paying a visit to the state of Oregon. Now, Oregon is six orders long and contains a bunch of tiles that are fairly easy to use, so it's probably not a huge surprise that there are two valid anagrams for Oregon. The two six-letter words that can be formed by rearranging the letters in Oregon are Orgon and Orogen. An Orgon is a type of pyramid that's often used in certain healing practices. I've pictured one over here on the left. And an Orogen is a belt of the Earth's crust that's involved in the formation of mountains. So two fairly obscure but fun six-letter words that are anagrams for the state of Oregon. We're now heading back east to the state of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a pretty long state. It's 12 letters long, and it's got some good tiles, but it's also got a bunch of clunky tiles. It's got triplicate N's as well as a P, a V, and a Y. And unfortunately, the clunkiness of these tiles is just enough that there are no acceptable words containing all the letters in Pennsylvania. So yet another state added to our growing list of states that do not make up any acceptable words. We're now heading up the East Coast once again, this time to the state of Rhode Island. Now, Rhode Island is the smallest state in the country by area, but it's got quite a lot of letters. It's got 11 letters, and uh, these letters, though, are pretty easy to work with. You've got a bunch of really good bingo tiles, uh, A, E, I, O, R, N, S. Uh, you do have two Ds and an H, which are a little bit difficult to work with, but it kind of feels like at first that there should probably be some long, like 13, 14, or 15 letter word using all the letters in Rhode Island. However, that is not the case. There are no words containing all of the letters in Rhode Island, so yet another addition to our list of wordless states. We're now heading back south to South Carolina, and if you recall, the two states beginning with North, North Carolina and North Dakota, did not make any words. So we're going to see now if that's the same for the South states, South Carolina and South Dakota. We're going to start with South Carolina, and South Carolina indeed makes no words. But how about South Dakota? It's 11 letters long, so a little bit shorter than South Carolina, but just like its northern neighbor, North Dakota, South Dakota makes no words. So all four states starting with North or South. So once again, both Dakotas and both Carolinas do not make any words. We're now heading back South to Tennessee. Now, uh, Tennessee has a decent number of letters. It's got nine letters and it's got a lot of repeated letters. It's got four E's, two N's, and two S's. So it seems like it's going to be pretty tough to make a word using all these letters just because of all that duplication. However, that is very much not the case. There's actually a 10 letter word using all the letters in Tennessee. So Tennessee is nine letters long. You only need to add a single letter to Tennessee to form another word. And this is a really fun one. This is definitely one of my favorites in this video. And the letter you need to add, it turns out to be a V. And what you get is 17s. So a pretty fun anagram there, Tennessee plus a single tile makes only 17s with a V. Definitely a good one to ask your friends. We're now going to head to the state of Texas. Texas is, of course, a very, very large state, but a fairly short state in terms of the number of letters, only five letters long. And it turns out that Texas is a word. And a Texas, as you can kind of see in this picture over here, is actually a structure on a ship. It's like this little cabin over here right behind the compartment where the, uh, the captain is while steering the ship. So that right there is a Texas. Now, of course, Texas also anagrams to taxes. It's not that hard to see, but we're going to give the mention to Texas because it's actually a word. So another state that is a word in addition to Alaska and Colorado, as we saw earlier. And it turns out that Texas will be the last state that is an acceptable word. So there are only three states in the U.S. that are acceptable Scrabble words. Once again, Alaska, Colorado, and Texas. So another pretty fun fact. We're now heading back to the west. We're going to Utah, another fairly short state, only four letters long. And it turns out that there is an anagram of Utah, and that is the four-letter word hot, which is a, another way to say tall. It's uh, often used in French, and it could be used, for instance, to describe the Eiffel Tower. We're now heading all the way back to the northeast, visiting the state of Vermont. Vermont is seven letters long, and it's got overall a bunch of pretty easy tiles to use. That V is a little bit clunky, though, and it turns out because of that V, you're going to need to add two tiles to Vermont in order to form a word. And those two tiles are going to be both vowels. There's a single nine-letter word using all the letters in Vermont, and that is normative, which is a term often used in economics. We're now heading back south down the eastern seaboard to the state of Virginia. Now, Virginia is eight letters long. It's got some difficult tiles. It's got three I's as well as a V. So at first, it might seem very challenging to form a word with all of these letters. However, it turns out there's actually a 10-letter word. So there's a word adding only two letters to the letters in Virginia, and those two letters are a C and an H to form the word chivarying, which has two I's in a row. Pretty cool, not something you see very often. 
And chivalry, it turns out, is a historical verb that's an alternate form of charivari, C-H-A-R-I-V-A-R-I, -A -A which means to perform a noisy serenade, as you can see on the bottom left. It was often used to mock people in public. So a uh, pretty interesting word and a uh, pretty fun and interesting anagram of Virginia plus two blanks. We're now heading all the way back to the West Coast to the state of Washington. Now, Washington, kind of like Virginia, has some difficult tiles to work with. It's got the W and the H and a pair of Ns, but once again, having that ING suffix within the state really helps matters. However, you do still need to add a couple tiles to Washington to form a word. You need to add two of them, and that is an E and an S for stonewashing, which is a process often applied to jeans to make the color a little bit lighter. Now, I did want to add an honorable mention here. There's actually only one other word, believe it or not, that contains all of the letters in Washington, and that is the 15-letter word notwithstanding. So Washington plus either two blanks or five blanks. Those are the only two words in the dictionary containing the letters in Washington. So pretty fun stuff. We're now heading all the way back to where we came from before. Instead of Virginia, we're now going to West Virginia. And we talked about how there is a word, uh, several words actually, but there's a 10-letter word even containing the letters in Virginia of chivalrying. But what happens when you add West? You're adding now four more letters. Does that change things? And it turns out it does. There are, unfortunately, no words containing all of the letters in West Virginia. We're now heading back to the Great Lakes region, to the state of Wisconsin. Pretty difficult state to work with, it seems, at first. Again, multiple duplicates, two I's, two N's, and two S's. Also a C and a W. So a state that at first might seem very difficult to work with. Maybe it might even seem there are no words. However, there are. And the shortest one is wainscotings with three additional tiles. And uh, wainscoting is a type of panel applied to a wall, as you can see here. And it turns out there's actually only one other word, and that is wainscoting spelled with two T's. Wainscotings with one T and wainscotings with two T's are the only words containing the letters in Wisconsin. Of course, wainscotings with one T is shorter, and that's why it got listed here. We're now heading back out west for our 50th and final state of this video, the state of Wyoming. And it's a pretty fun example to conclude on. Wyoming is only seven letters long, and it's got that common ing suffix that we've been talking about, so it doesn't seem like it should be all that hard to form a word using all the letters in Wyoming. It turns out that there are words, but it is deceptively difficult to form one using all of these letters. There are actually only three words in the whole dictionary containing all the letters in Wyoming, and the shortest one doesn't involve just adding a couple letters. It involves adding seven additional letters, so doubling the length of Wyoming. There is a single 14-letter word and also two 15-letter words. They're all really cool and fun, so I've listed them all here. The single 14 that is the shortest word containing all the letters in Wyoming is overwhelmingly, and uh, an honorable mention very much so to the two 15-letter words, both of which are common but really fun and creative. You've got mouthwateringly and 20-something, so... Three, uh, once again, pretty common, but extremely difficult to see, and uh, really, really cool words. A 14 and two 15s, these are the only words in the Scrabble Dictionary containing all of the letters in the state of Wyoming. So a pretty cool example to conclude on. But we're not quite done yet. As a bonus, I wanted to add America, which of course is not a state, but it is the country containing all 50 states we've looked at. So we've looked at now all 50 states and what is the shortest word containing the letters in each of those 50 states. How about the country as a whole? What words contain all the letters in America? And these are pretty good letters. There are many, many words in the dictionary that contain all the letters in America, but there is a single one that is the shortest. It is an eight-letter word adding a single tile. That tile would be an H for the word chimera. And a chimera is a type of fish, a pretty cool-looking type of fish you can see pictured here on the bottom left. So that is it for this video, guys. That is the final example. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and maybe got some fun trivia to ask your friends and uh, maybe learned a little bit something cool about your home state or some uh, other states you really like visiting or uh, or just are big fans of in general. And definitely let me know if you want me to do other videos uh, similar to this, maybe with countries or any other sort of uh, category. I really enjoyed this uh, different format and making this one. So if you have any other fun ideas that you'd like to see, definitely feel free to let me know in the comment section and I will be glad to take a look. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate the support and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.